Hey, what's going on? Today we're going to talk about snippets. So snippets are a piece of code you can add to your website to perform any number of powerful tasks or modifications. A common place you'll find snippets is in the support documents for a plugin you're using. For example, we're using Gravity Forms here with the nested forms plugin. And if we were to go to the documentation page, uh, this is full of different ways you can customize it, utilize it, um, including uh, what are called snippets. And so if we just search on the page, this key phrase will come up a few times. Use this snippet to do this, this snippet to do that, this snippet to do that. They're all over because there are very handy ways to hook into uh, what are called well hooks on a plugin. Oftentimes, uh, these are utilized for extra customizability. You can see this particular plugin has all kinds of them to set certain maximums, do certain actions when it loads, when you're adding a row, uh, modifying how things appear on the screen. Uh, and it's a way for the developers of the original plugin to uh, let you avoid having to modify their original code and instead have your own separate uh, little snippets of code that uh, make this much more powerful and usable uh, than just the specific use case they built it for. And so uh, let's get into an example to illustrate that. Uh, in this example, we're using uh, the nested forms plugin to create this uh, players form. And so you can go in here, you can hit add player, and you can say, we're gonna add John, his number is 37. And we're gonna add another player and his name will be Phil. And his player number is two, add the player, submit it. Now this works great, but for our scenario, we wanna ensure they're submitting no more than one player and no more than three players, and also make that very clear to the end user. So I've already set the parameters in the back end where if we were to try to submit this without anyone else, this will pop up a big old error. If we try to submit more than three players, another error will pop up. Uh, but we wanna give that more of an advanced notice ahead of time so they don't have to you know, add 50 players and then realize that uh, they've gone too far. And so the way to perform this is the makers of this plugin provide a snippet uh, called max entries uh, or entries max message. And essentially all you have to do is grab this whole snippet they supply here, paste it into um, your site, make a few changes so it knows what it's talking to, and it'll add these handy little messages. We'll show you how that looks and then we'll show you how we did it. And so if we were just to activate this snippet and refresh this page, you can see that it already tells us you must add at least one entries and no more than three entries. And if we deactivate this snippet, that functionality goes away. And so how we added this, we copied everything below this little PHP tag here. This is a PHP snippet. PHP is just the code that your website is running on. We copied that, went over to here, and the plugin that we're using, if we go over to here, is called code snippets by code snippets pro and so we're just going to go over to that interface and we're going to pretend we're creating a brand new one so we're going to go to add new and it's a php style paste our code into here give it a name and then we would just hit save down here you also have other options such as setting the priority where it should run if it only um, should be on the back end or the front end but everywhere should be fine for most cases the key thing to make sure we update is uh, these little numbers here. So you can see they gave us some instructions on how to use them. And so update one, two, three to your form ID and four to your field ID. And so in Gravity Forms using their nested forms plugin, uh, they're almost always referring to the parent form. And if you want a more in-depth video on how nested forms work with Gravity Forms, uh, leave a comment and I'll happily set that up. But all we need to know is that the form ID for the main parent form is two. And so we're gonna change that to two. And then the four that was there, we're gonna change that to the field ID of where this nested form is, which in this case is one, uh, because this nested form is technically a field inside this form. And then this form uh, has a bunch of the other form inside it uh, using the player's child form that I created. That's where you get the player name and player number fields. It's pretty complex, but you can also uh, do a lot with it. It's very powerful. So again, let me know if you want a more in-depth video on that. And so if we set this to one, then we'll get a snippet identical to the one I created over here, which is the max entry snippet. And you can see I set that to two, one. And so if we activate it and then go over to here and refresh, 
there we are. We've got our fresh functionality. We can tweet that however we like. If we hop in here, we can change the wording because this is just a little bit of PHP code. You don't need to understand all of this, but these little parts here where it's just regular words, you can say, you must please add at least this many and you must please. And then if we save and update that, we can go over here and refresh. You must please add at least one entry is no more than three entries. So you can make it more cordial if you like. So that covers the easiest way to add a snippet. If you're more of an advanced user, you may be more interested in adding it via the functions.php file inside your theme folder, or even just creating uh, a small custom plugin that you can turn off and on from the plugins page and keeping all your custom code in there. Really anywhere that you can uh, plop this piece of code so that it will run and take effect on your site uh, is the name of the game. But for most users, having it in the snippets plugin is the most convenient because you can turn it off and on, keep an eye on where it is, set the priority, and they even give you some starter ones like being able to turn off the admin bar or uh, create a short code that displays the current year anywhere on your site. Handy stuff. That's all for now. Please subscribe to the Websites Made Simple channel so we can bring you more tips like these and have a great day.